Hi, this is Manish. Today I'm going to create a normal agent transformation in Informatica. Uh, scenario is like uh, we have a source data like this. So we want call, we want uh, all column to be inserted as row in the target table. So the output will be like this. I have created uh, one source table this is the source table and it contains same like this data like this 10ax20py and I also created the target table in the target schema that is batch 11 I have created four columns okay so click on informatica designer import source table import from database and there you have to import your source table in this case I have imported the source table that is normalizer underscore source underscore table and uh, import uh, target table now click on mapping designer create mapping m underscore normalizer scenario click ok drag and drop your source table in this case uh, normalizer source underscore table is a source table arrange all now click on normalizer transformation this is the symbol of normalizer transformation click here double click on normal agent transformation click on normal agent tab create uh, two column one is for the sequence generator input sequence and one is for the column now here uh, you will get properties of uh, this normal agent tab so occurrence means three for the column and zero for the sequence input underscore sequence it will come from sequence generator this column will come will come from source qualifier so in source qualifier we have three column three columns okay for that uh, I, I, I change this to three click on a string apply okay now drag and drop all columns from source qualifier to normal agent transformation click on sequence generator connect next value to input sequence dot in when, whenever you create normal agent transformation these two default uh, column will automatically come so what is the use of this GK column and GCID column I will tell you later so these are the input column and output column is this input sequence and this one now click on expression transformation now drag and drop all the columns from normal edge transformation to expression transformation so this is one column gc id column and sequence unit double click mm. Now here you have to create four column okay so this is your input column column one so this will be your output column
one two three four one two three and four this will be your output column now rename this to next value next something next control c now copy this and this to Control C. This is for the column two. This is for the column three. This is for the column four. And change this to two. This to three. And so apply. Okay. Now that is done. that is done so I have created four columns which this cal with this calculation so what I am actually doing uh, if you see the record flow into normalizer transformation is like this first is 10 a x now in normalizer transformation uh, 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 output column it will come like 10 a x and GCID column will be 1, 2, 3 and sequence, sequence generator for the first record is 1 Similar, similarly for the these 4 rows 20, 30 and 40 now what I have to do in expression transformation I have to divide uh, based on this next value means for the based on this uh, sequence generator I have to divide those columns so that is done here when I am doing this that means next value first first is first so it will be in column 1 because reminder will be 1 again uh, for A it will be 1 and for X it will be 1 because sequence generator is 1 ok same way uh, for second record it will be in column 2 only ok after that what I have to do I have to create one sorter transformation track and drop these track and drop this these four columns here click on ports click sort all the columns apply ok so if you will sort all the columns you will get result like this ok now after that what you have to do uh, you have to use aggregator transformation so this is the aggregator transformation drag and drop all the columns double click click on ports group by so here what you have to do you have to create one you have to take max so copy paste and this will be your output max of column 1 Similarly, for all the columns, uncheck the input button. This is for the second column.
this is for the third okay click apply click okay now drag and drop your target table and link output column of aggregator to non target table control Now click on workflow. Create new workflow. This is the name of our mapping. Click OK. Double click. Go to mapping. Source is coming from Scott. This is correct. Click OK. Control S. Start workflow not succeeded. Check your target table. Now, in your target table, this is came as row. The column changed to row. So, thanks.